Did you know that in militarizing the air, the French were one of the first innovators as early as 1794? It was the time when a lighter-than-air observing balloon successfully tracked the movements of Austrian troops throughout the War of Fleurus, France. They were the first customers of the Wright brothers. Soon after that, they began manufacturing their own aircraft with innovations, all while keeping it secret from competing militaries. However, Italy followed and by the end of 1911 successfully deployed reconnaissance and bomber aircraft against their enemy during the Italo-Turkish War. Soon, the ability of reconnaissance and photo reconnaissance were recognized by almost all militaries and they aimed to develop secret airplanes superior to those of potential enemies. The USA Army developed a flying bomb, self-guided aerial torpedo during World War I. It was developed by consortium and included many names forever linked to aviation, such as Almas Barry Orville Wright, Henry Ford, and Charles Kettering. Strict secrecy was kept while developing this secret aircraft that only a few of the Army's highest officers knew of its existence. Though it never flew in combat, it still remains the forefather of the cruise missile and unmanned aerial vehicles in use today. Emergent technologies such as cyber, secret aircraft, and spectrum-dependent systems arose in the past decade. National security exists within an ever-changing competition with those who intend to do harm to the aviation ecosystem. Such advanced disruptive technologies, along with never-ending traditional threats, require a latest concerted approach from the global aviation community of interest to ensure the safety, security, and prosperity of the aviation ecosystem. Did you know that these aviation-related activities represent 5% of our GDP? And with the advent of evolving technologies, such activities are forecasted to grow. So, this dynamic landscape requires the USA to develop and sustain a persistent, layered methodology to protect this vital resource. Intelligence is a matter of situational awareness, that means better understanding of events and conditions throughout the world. Policymakers, diplomats, and military commanders rely on intelligence officers to communicate this information effectively. Bringing a leader up to date on current situations or investing the policymaker with a more in-depth comprehension of a topic based on exhaustive research. For example, the policymaker may want to know the exact location of terrorists, the number and whereabouts of enemy nuclear submarines. Military commanders on a battlefront may need to know about the weapons capabilities of adversaries and the location of their warfighters. The type of information that could be useful in making a political, economic, diplomatic, or military decision is hard to obtain. National security needs to invest in resources to fund espionage rings, surveillance satellites, reconnaissance or secret aircraft, and listening devices, plus its skill in ferreting out pertinent data from the vast sea of irrelevant information.